Hello, this quick guide will walk you through adding collaborative editing to your instance of Directus. For self-hosted, you'll want to go into your Docker Compose file and make a few small changes. If you are using images, you will need to change to add a build section here, and you're going to need to create a Docker file. You can find an example of this in our documentation on how to add custom extensions. For this particular case, you're going to want to make sure that you are on the most recent version of Directus. And the most important part here is going to be adding the particular extension we're adding. So collaborative editing. So it's going to be at Directus-Labs forward slash collaborative dash editing to take your Docker Compose and run it. And you'll go into your admin panel. Give it a moment to load. And if you go into extensions, you should see this in there now. We scroll down, here's collaborative editing. If you go into settings, you'll want to enable it here. Check the box and hit save. And you'll notice the new module. You'll want to go in here and you'll notice it says settings are missing. So you'll click this create settings button. It'll default to enabled. Go into some of our content and you'll see there's a new little icon here that's showing that myself as the admin user, I'm on this page. I'm going to click into a field and on another user I've logged in, I will click in here and you'll see my other user is currently in the permalink. So this is how you enable it for your self-hosted. If you are an enterprise user, you can deploy this using your custom extensions repo following your normal process. If you're unfamiliar with that process, please reach out to our support team and we'll help you. But a quick reminder of the process, you will pull down the extension from our Directus Labs repo here. You're going to build it locally and you're going to pop it into your folder in your extensions repo, create a PR and merge it in. And then after some deployment magic on our end, it'll take anywhere between five to 15 minutes. You will see in your instance, the same thing we saw here for local, and you'll be able to set it up and configure it the same way.